I thought I was done with recording all my content for 2023, but when you get tagged by a mate on BookTube, well, I'm always more than happy to contribute. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, you're with Chris and today I'll be doing the ringing in the new year book tag. Now Gareth over at Book Songs and Other Magic, you really must check out his channel, he tagged me along with a stack of fellow booktubers and I thought this tag would be a lot of fun to do because it'll build upon what I had already mentioned in my end of year wrap up video that went up recently. Now this tag is an original tag created by Bookmark Chronicles. I must check out her channel one of these days. But with this, there are eight questions or prompts. Now, some of the answers I'm going to give here will contain spoilers if you haven't caught my end of year wrap up video. But it's also an opportunity for me to add anything further that I might not have thought about when recording that end of year content. So uh, it's gonna be uh, a lot of fun. So let's kick it off, shall we, with prompt number one best book or series that you read in 2023 so i had two answers for this one so the best book i read was the year of the locust by terry hayes this book ticked so many boxes for me it actually won four categories in my awards video that's how good it was it was compulsive it was addictive it kept me up late it uh, tugged on the heartstrings it impressed me because the author did something very very dangerous and risky because he uh, did uh, divide up his readership a little bit with a decision he made in the last portion of the book where he just turned the book on its head and started to write hard sci-fi uh, when the book most of the book was uh, a spy thriller I had a lot of respect for the author to throw his balls out there and take that risk uh, a lot of people stopped reading the book as a result because I enjoyed the book so much at that point I kept on reading because it uh, the payoff was huge and the emotional stakes as a result of that decision was incredible. So uh, in uh, my review video for the book, I did implore people that if they are going to read it and if I speak to people on Facebook uh, about the book, if they're looking at reading it, I just say, in the last portion of the book, um, I'll give you a word of warning, just have a bit of faith and keep reading. Please keep reading because uh, it is incredible. But it was a very, very worthy, worthy winner for me. This year, I am very, very happy with my decision of it being my number one book of 2023. And if you haven't read it, I implore you to read it because it is a crack of a, of a read, even though it is a brick at about 670 pages. Now, best series I read this year has to go to the Jack Ryan series. It is my number one favorite thriller series of all time and has been for many years. I've been reading it for a couple of, a few decades now. And every time a new book comes out in the series, I just snatch it up and read it on day one. And coming in a close second would be Jack Reacher. I really like that one as well, but it's always going to be Jack Ryan for me. Okay, prompt number two authors that you've discovered this year and would like to read more from now i discovered heaps of authors this year the first one being riley sager i read his book home before dark and that won uh, my awards category of best plot twist in a novel i discovered grady hendrix and i read my best friend's exorcism which in fact won uh, best cover design in a novel I discovered Lucy Campbell, a debut Aussie crime author with uh, Lowbridge, which was fantastic, and that actually won my uh, Best Debut Book Award. And I discovered Louis L'Amour, the most famous Western writer. As part of this year's June on the Range project, I was so impressed with his writing that I do plan on reading more of his books if I end up doing the June on the Range uh, reading project in 2024. I discovered James Luceno as part of my journey into the Star Wars Expanded Universe where I plan on reading a lot more of those in 2024. I read three this year and uh, quite enjoyed them. I also discovered, of course, Terry Hayes, which uh, ended up being my book of the year. So uh, I love discovering new authors and I'm sure I'm going to discover new authors next year as well. Prompt number three, best books turned movie, TV adaptation in 2023 or most 
anticipated adaptation for 2023, 2024, or both. With this one, if I could use a book I've read this year, which was um, The House Made by Frieda McFadden, I'd like to see that adapted on Netflix because it's got all the ingredients to suck a, viewer, a viewership in and it has an irresistible massive twist right at the end, which uh, is uh, a very good ingredient for making good uh, streaming content. And I think at this point, from what I can gather from my research, there is a script and a director attached and uh, I think it's in pre-production but don't quote me on that but out of all the books uh, this year I think it's the only one but an anticipated uh, adaptation nonetheless. Prompt number four, have your reading habits changed at all this year and have you gotten into any new genres? Haven't uh, gotten into any new genres uh, this year. I haven't really stepped outside my comfort zone, but in terms of habits, a massive change happened a few months ago where I used to plan my reading every month and do TBR videos, but it took a while for me to realize that TBR videos just aren't for me at the moment. Uh, planning TBRs does not work because I might put six books on a list for the any given month and I'll be lucky to read two of them because I get very easily distracted by other books that come up, especially when I'm in Goodreads and I think, oh, I wouldn't mind reading that. I have to read that now. So becoming a mood reader is a very, very major change in the channel and it just means that I can wake up one day and read whatever I want and I can change my mind on a whim. Um, what is good about being a mood reader is it's uh, there's a bit of spontaneity for the channel as well because sometimes I don't know what I'm going to be reading and reviewing and then as a, a viewer or a subscriber you don't know what's coming from me either and it's better from uh, an integrity standpoint as well because I used to say right I'm going to read this 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 and this and the, my viewers would think uh, they would expect those review videos to come up on the channel and when I didn't deliver those it was uh, like I wasn't being honest and wasn't delivering on what I said I would so this way I can have complete spontaneity and I can fly by the seat of my pants and every review that comes up on the channel will be a surprise to you because I don't um, give any warning uh, beforehand so I think for the channel that's going to be uh, a very good thing moving forward into 2024 and beyond. Prompt number five, favorite ship, romantic or platonic of the year or new favorite character. With this one, I chose my favorite ship, which was romantic in this case with uh, uh, Mr. Einstein's Secretary by Matthew Riley, a fantastic book. I really enjoyed that. And this relationship was between Hannah, the main character, and Treasury Agent Dan Kessler. Now, the alluring thing about this relationship is, uh, like most relationships, it's never love at first sight, but uh, they have uh, several interactions across events that are happening in the book across many, many years. And there appears to be some chemistry there in some of the meetups, but it's not until the end when everything is tied up in a neat little bow and uh, it's sort of a happy ending where they finally come together. But throughout the book with their uh, encounters, it's as if fate steps in and says, no, not yet. Uh, you're not ready to get together yet. And uh, as fate would have it by the end of the book, they do come together. And there was a very good um, on-page chemistry between the two characters. So it really is a book relationship that stood out for me this year and is well worth mentioning. Prompt number six, have you started planning your TBR for 2024 and how many books do you hope to read? Okay, so I don't plan a TBR. I did release a video exploring my reading possibilities for next year, so not being tied down or committed to any one title, but I did wanna share with everyone what kind of books I'd like to read next year, which is going to have a very heavy uh, fantasy element. I have been pretty slack with my fantasy reading and I plan on reading a lot more fantasy in 2024. I have given some thought to what my Goodreads target will be and I've decided to go with 70 books for 2024. I need to aim for a more conservative target because a lot of the fantasy I would like to read, they're chunkers. Um, for, I mean, case in point, look, this one that I plan to start, in fact, um, on New Year's Day or even today, time of filming is, um, it's uh, Sunday today, which is New Year's Eve, but I'm going to start it today, and that is uh, Brandon Sanderson's Way of Kings. I've finally got around to committing to it, and I'm going to read it, and I'm going to read quite a few books in the Cosmere this year, but um, it's a chunker of um, a thousand odd pages. So 
That just gives you an idea. If I read a few of those, um, the target of 70 is going to be hard to reach, uh, whichever way you look at it. But uh, 70 is a nice round figure, and uh, you yeah, just can't wait to uh, get into some fantasy for next year. But there's going to be other uh, random titles that uh, I read because uh, as a mood reader, I can change my mind in uh, at the drop of a hat. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, 70 books, I think, is a reasonable target to go for. Um, as of this year, I finished on, I think it was 74. 73 or 74 books out of 85. I didn't quite get there. I did mention in the previous video that I was going to try and rush through uh, some more Death Note to bring that total up, but uh, I had a bit of burnout. <laughs> and um, yesterday I, my eyes were bugging out of my head because I did finish a pretty big read and uh, I was mentally exhausted. So um, I, I felt, I, I said to myself, I'm gonna read um, f six volumes of Death Note in a, in a day and uh, it could have happened but I just weren't up to the task but you know oh, we're going to change my uh, target I'm just going to accept that I didn't quite make it this year and uh, so it goes but next year we'll see what happens prompt number seven will you participate in any reading challenges or readathons so not so much challenges apart from the good reads won't be doing readathons as such but i will be participating in some reading projects with a few other booktubers next year uh, notably uh horror mayhem is a massive one it'll be my third one in 2024 and uh, it happens to be my favorite booktube uh, reading project along with the uh, bookish brides and a few other prominent booktubers it's where we all get together and we read just horror for the month of May. And I've been proactive. I've been thinking in depth about what I would like to read for the project. And I have got a few decisions uh, that I have uh, penciled in. And I've even uh, been shopping recently for some specific titles that uh, I plan on reading, particularly uh, books of short stories and that sort of thing. And just on that with my purchasing, uh, coming up uh, sometime in January, I'm going to have a book haul video, but it'll be a little bit different where I'll be unboxing uh, all my books on camera. So you can imagine um, as my parcels roll in, I've spent a little bit of money actually, as the parcels come in, I have to keep them aside until all the deliveries are made. So I'm gonna have to use a little bit of discipline to uh, not get too eager and open them early because I would like to open them all on camera for you so you can share in my excitement with what I've bought. So I uh, can't wait for that. Okay, now other reading projects. Uh, we do have June on the range. Now I'm a little bit on the fence with that one. I would like to do it. It just depends on where I'm at with my reading and um, what, I'm on the, what I'm in the middle of at the time. I won't make the decision now, but it is on my radar, but uh, we'll just see how that goes. Okay, now also late next year, there will be New Worlds November. The gang will be back together. It is a fantastic group where we read nothing but science fiction for the month of November with various prompts and things like that. I had a blast last year and I'm looking forward to meeting up with the guys again to uh, do that project because it is um, absolutely amazing and collaborative and there's so much science fiction to choose from because it is a huge genre and uh, really enjoyed uh, that one last year as well but uh, that's just some of the projects I will be participating in. And prompt number eight, any New Year's resolutions or goals, bookish, content related or otherwise? So I'd like to grow my subscriber base a little bit uh, more quickly. I'm sitting at 387 at the moment, which it's going okay. I'm getting uh, new subscribers regularly. Uh, I'd like to have more booktubers and authors on the channel as guests. Now I have asked Mike over at Mike's Book Reviews to come on the channel. If Mike's watching, please um, come onto my channel. I'd love to have you. Um, I'm also going to be having John Milton from Talking Story on the channel. He's kindly agreed to come on. I've just got to wait until after the holidays and hit him up. And uh, he is super keen to come on the channel for a chat. So uh, I'd be looking forward to uh, uh, John being my first guest of 2024. And I think uh, we'll have a blast. And if you haven't checked out John's channel, he is amazing. 
and I am really, really looking forward to uh, speaking to him. I'm going to try and keep the content fresh. Uh, I'm going to try a couple of new segments. I will be continuing the reading the Star Wars Expanded Universe uh, project there. I'm going to be introducing Into the Cosmia, where I'll be doing um, reading a lot of Brandon Sanderson's work next year, and I'll be doing regular spontaneous reviews as well. I'll be keeping that going because um, it does tend to work very, very well. And I'm also going to branch out to romance. I said on the channel in, um, you know, uh, a couple of times that I'll never try romance, but I'm curious. I want to find out what the fuss is all about. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys read romance. So I thought, look, it's something I will try and I'm going to give Chloe Walsh a go or uh, and or Nicholas Sparks. I'll see what uh, he's got to offer as well and uh, I'll be sure to give my thoughts and feedback during my reviews um, if and when I read some romance titles next year. Of course I'm going to be reading a lot more fantasy because there are so many good books out there that I want to read and uh, they tend to be bucket list reads as well and a touch of science fiction as well because I would love to read Dune um, as a bucket list read next year as well so uh, there is you know I'm so spoiled for choice there's always going to be a book for me to read so there you go guys that is it for my ringing in the new year tag um, now Gareth said to um, tag whoever you want now on his list he has a big list of who he tagged and unfortunately I can't think of anyone new um, apart from uh, I'll tag John over at uh, Talking Story if he wants to participate in this uh, tag because it is a lot of fun but uh, I can't think of any uh, more at this moment because all the ones I would have thought about are already on Gareth's list so uh, thank you very much for tagging me in this Gareth I hope you enjoyed my answers and I'm looking forward to uh, all the other booktubers who have been tagged in this one to see what their answers are and uh, looking forward to 2024 um, and I think a lot of booktubers are looking forward to the same and smashing some goals and reading some new stuff and buying more books. It's just all very, very exciting. Well, I wish you all uh, a really happy new year and uh, yeah, drink heaps and celebrate and I'll look forward to talking to you then. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll promise to deliver the best content I can. And until the next video, guys, happy reading.